Hi everybody, this is Andrea. This is my vlog today. It's Thursday. I think it's the... Actually, I don't know what... <laughs> I don't know what day of the month it is. I would take a look at my calendar, but this is embarrassing. I usually know what day of the month it is. I want to say it's the 14th, but I could be wrong. Anyway, it's Thursday and it's September, so that's all you need to know. Is it all you need to know? Well, I had some really bad anxiety today when we went to the grocery store. I just kind of wanted to talk about that. My husband and I went to the grocery store and we did like a medium amount of shopping, I want to say. We spent a lot of money, but my husband's on sabbatical and <laughs> he likes to cook. So it's pretty exciting because he's picking all this interesting food and he's going to cook some fancy stuff. So... Um, he cooked, what did he cook today? It was like bluefish in, with lemon and tarragon and wine and like roasted vegetables. They were kind, you know, different kinds of squash and mini and, and the mini portobello mushrooms and uh, wild rice pilaf. It was very good, very tasty. So anyway, we were at the grocery store today and I think we were there for over an hour and I was starting to get anxiety. I had to ride in the scooter because my arthritis is really bad today. The it's like all in my knees and my and my hips and my shoulders and my elbows and ugh, it's all in there. So that even hurts. Going to <laughs> what can you do? What can you do? Anyway, so I was riding around in the scooter, which usually is enough to keep me calm. But after about an hour, I guess, I was starting to have some anxiety. So I did some, like I have some techniques that I do. Like I tried to pull over to the side where I was, I could see less people going by. One of the things that makes my anxiety worse is being able to see lots of movement happening. Or ha and having loud noises, stuff like that. Um, so I tried to pull in, you know, towards towards the uh, shelves in a certain way, so that that's mostly what I see. And I do my breathing techniques and try to clear my mind and stuff. And then that wasn't working for me. I think it calmed me down a tiny bit. And then I went to. Like Bob had left, usually he's with me the whole time, but we kind of separated. He went and picked out like some meats and stuff and I was going up and down some of the aisles and then I couldn't find them and that stressed me out a little bit. So I called him and then I found him and then he ran off again. <laughs> he ran off again and left me by myself. Anyway, so my anxiety was getting worse. It's not like I need to have somebody with me all the time, but for some reason, it helps my anxiety if there's somebody right there. I think part of it is having somebody familiar with, that I'm with familiar with, and another part of it is that them walking right next to me blocks some of the movement. <clears throat> so, I said, this is, I, t I told him, I'm having a hard time, you know, I need to go out to the car. So, we went up to, we went up to the, check out and I put my stuff on the the lady came around and helped me to put stuff up on the belt the the stuff that I had in the little basket in front of me and then I took the keys and I went out to the car and it took me a while to calm down I just kind of have to pretend that I'm by myself and just I still had to come I still had to when we got home I had to come upstairs and lay down for a little bit to calm down but I didn't have to take my anxiety medicine so that's good I got myself out of it the thing is the reason that you have to take the anxiety medicine sometimes is that when you have anxiety like I do and you have a panic attack your body goes into like this fight or flight um, syndrome there's other things that are similar to it um, there's other Anyway, whatever, I don't know how to describe it. it. It makes your heart rate go faster. It 
pumps adrenaline all through your body. You feel like you have to run, but there's nothing to run from. There's nothing going on. Like I have generalized anxiety disorder. I don't have social anxiety disorder. So mine can pop up at any time, and I just happened to notice that it, it pops up like when there's a lot of movement and a lot of noise or I get bumped in, if, if somebody's bumping in, like that's why I usually have a hard time at the grocery store. I will tell you something, when I was down in Texas visiting my sister, we walked around the grocery store, nobody bumped into me. Nobody. But in Pennsylvania, people will bump into you left and right. Bump, 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 they'll bump you with their body, they'll bump you with their cart. It's very um, distressing to me at least. So yeah, those kinds of things are what get my anxiety going. And when it gets to a certain point, if you can't get the adrenaline down and stuff, you need to take the medicine because it's overworking your organ. Like, say you do this all the time. You're always in, say, say it happens a couple times a month. You're going into flight or flight where you're, where you're heightened like that and your, your adrenaline is pumping. It overworks your organs. It's bad for your heart. And there's some other organs it's bad for too, but it's really bad for your heart. So you need to get the, you need to calm yourself down. So that's why I have a lot of methods I used and I try to go through those methods one at a time before I take that medicine. But sometimes I have to take that medicine and it puts me to sleep when I take it. So... But since I've stopped, like I haven't worked in, I think, three years because a combination of like three different, I have three different things that them combined together makes it difficult for me to work. And that's one of them. But it, when I just had that, it, I was able to work somewhat in some places. But since I've stopped working, I've had less anxiety attacks. So... Because I can control what environment I'm in, you know, I'm not, but I'm not, I'm not isolating myself to the house, but I don't go out as often. Like when you're working, you leave every day, you're in different situations, you're with different people, you know. Anyway, so there's something else I wanted to say. <laughs> you probably noticed this. Um... I thought my hair was growing back in, and it's not growing back in. My hair's getting even patchier on top. So I don't know what to do. It's driving me crazy. And then <laughs> my husband said that he noticed it. <laughs> Why can't he pretend he doesn't notice it? So I'm, I've, I looked at a bunch of different hats online. I have a big head. I can't buy hats off the rack, so... Except for like baseball caps that you can adjust. I looked at some hats online and I ordered a couple hats and I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll find something that I feel comfortable with. I've thought about doing wigs, but to tell you the truth, I'd rather just th I'd rather just throw a hat on my head. <laughs> uh, so that's what's going on there. I don't want to show you, but. If you look at some of my other videos, I'm sure you see some of the spots. I mean, my hair covers some of it, but sometimes when I would lean over, you could see. Anyway, maybe I'll look more stylish this way. Who knows? It's life, you know. You got to take what you get and roll with it. Just roll with it. I did mention before that we are going to Germany in a couple weeks, and... I'm in the middle of confirming all of my, the places we're staying, and I have to contact this one lady still, but, and it doesn't, no, it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't bother me to share this information that I'm going away for a week because there's three other adult males that live at my house, so I'm not worried about anything happening while I'm gone, so, plus I have a dog. I mean, a dog that barks at everything, but still a dog, so. <laughs> so I hope that you're having a good day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.